Talking politics now, barely a week after the presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress traveled abroad, Bola Ahmed Tinubu is back in the country from the United Kingdom. The presidential hopeful returned after days of intensive political consultations and meetings in London. Ashwaju Bola Tinubu was received by the vice presidential candidate, Senator Kashim Shatima, DG APC Presidential Campaign Council, Governor Simon Nalong, and other chieftains of the ruling party. Has details. APC presidential candidate Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu arrives at the Nnamdi Azikwe International Airport after a less than two weeks trip to the United Kingdom. <laughs> He was welcomed by the APC vice presidential candidate, Senator Kashim Shetima, DG APC presidential campaign council, Governor Simon Lalong, former governor of Edo State, Adam Soshiomole, and other chieftains of the ruling party. A crowd of supporters also thronged the Namdi Azikwe International Airport to welcome Ashiwaju Tinubu, whom they say is the most preferred candidate on next year's presidential ballot. The APC presidential candidate says he is happy to be back home. The trip was very good. I enjoyed my, you know, break, and uh, I'm happy to be back and to my fatherland. Ashiwaju Tinubu says his team will be performance-driven and will improve the welfare of Nigerians and take it to an enviable position among the Committee of Nations. Nigeria should expect a very intelligent ability to think and perform. Nigeria should expect that the help they needed is here. The hope that is almost teetering is back and back actively. And that we hold every effort uh, to the country of patriotism, dedication, capacity, and ability to do the job. Not negative thinking. If it is uh, 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 assurance, we give Nigeria that we definitely will make a better country out of it all. The former governor of Lagos, whom many consider to be in a pole position to clinch victory at the presidential election, embarked on a short trip to the United Kingdom, where he relaxed and held strategic meetings and consultations ahead of the campaigns leading to next year's elections. Ola Awakon, TVC News, Abuja.